In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can we use ClickUp to manage all, th all things clients and contacts? In other words, can ClickUp replace Clio? I'm Katherine Porter, and I am an attorney with over 20 years of litigation and transactional experience here in California. And I'm also the founder and principal consultant at The Resource Woman. We help law firms and lawyers put strategies and systems in place to make managing their matters easy and effort, almost effortless. So to answer the question I asked at the beginning of the video, can ClickUp replace things like Clio and other CRM software? And if you don't know, CRM is Client Relationship Management. And the short answer is probably not. While ClickUp is very robust and they're adding new features all the time, it probably isn't going to replace things like Clio, at least not right now. Uh, as I'm going to talk about in other videos, ClickUp does not do a great job of time tracking the way lawyers, we need to do it for our practice. Um, and it also, and it's not an accounting platform, so it's not going to handle your billing and invoicing. It can track that information, but it's not really going to help you actually execute on those. What ClickUp does really well, however, is pull in information from different places so that you can see everything related to that client in a, at a glance. Let me show you. Okay, so here I have a list of all my clients and these are all litigation clients. So I've got the matters, uh, they're all mostly on this example, they're all related to a particular matter with Stanley versus Sunrise, totally made up names, totally made up matters, totally made up addresses, emails, phone numbers, etc. So uh, please, then none of these are real, don't call these phone numbers, I have no idea who they are, uh, etc, etc. All right, so let's take a look at an example here. I'm gonna pull up Ophelia here, and you can see when I pull up her task, I see her name and I've got all the contact information right there. And I can see that she's involved with the Stanley versus Sunrise matter. And then down here, I've got some things that are part of that lawsuit and that I can pull that information in directly from other lists in ClickUp. So the matter might have its own list. It has a list for all the pleadings that need to be filed or are, are filed. It has um, other tasks, lists for other tasks. For example, in this made up world, we send our clients a questionnaire at the beginning of a matter. And so we're tracking that on our questionnaires list. So I can pull information from those lists and put them right into this task. For it. So down here, you can see her initial questionnaire has been sent to the client. So presumably it's with her and she hasn't returned it yet. Um, and then we can also see her complaint is drafting. It's with her for review. We're working with the client on getting that complaint final. So that's a way we can pull in information from other lists, join it all into one place so we can see everything kind of that 35,000 foot view for that particular client. And to get this, we are using re direct relationships and we're also using roll-up fields. Those are two features in ClickUp that are super powerful and can really help you uh, see what you need to see and really hone in on the most important, crucial information that on any particular client or for any particular matter. Now I'm going to show you an example from uh, transactional. So it's a little bit different where instead of um, having now I'm going to show you an example using a real estate transactional practice. So let me get dismiss Ophelia here and I'm going to go to this list. This view here, I've got my transactional real estate clients listed and you can see I still have their contact information, address, email, phone number, and I've also got the relationship with my um, matters. And so I can pull up and so I can see which matters this client, each client has. And what I've done to do that is I have one list of clients and I also have another list that's matters. Um, and it's just a basic name of the matter type of list. And I just relate those two together and I can show which matters are connected to which clients. I can also within the client, I've also add, you can see I have some um, company names down here as well as individuals. And so I've related those to each other. So anytime we click on a company, we're going to see all the people that are related to that company. And we're going to also, if we conversely, if we click on a person, we're going to see which companies that person is, um, is connected with as well and other people in that company who are connected. Okay. So here, like I said, I've got a client list and I've also got a matters list. The client list is what we're looking at right now. And I, and I've pulled in the matters that are related. So let me pull up Kimberly here and we can see we've got the contact information again, totally fictional. And we've got, we've got matters. Well, first of all, we can see she's related to our client, Big Devco. 
And that's just a relationship showing they're connected. It doesn't, we don't, there's no status or anything like that with that. They're just, it's just an easy relationship. We're just connecting the two, two uh, tasks and click up. So we've got matters. We can see she is related to the Winter Haven Garden sale and the Periwinkle Apartments sale. And this is where I think it can be really powerful is we can pull in information from those matters and roll up the field into click into Kimberly's task. So we can say her transaction stage for the Winter Haven Garden sale, we're drafting, we're drafting the purchase and sale agreement. And for Periwinkle Apartments, we've got the purchase and sale agreements drafted, it's in review. And these are custom fields, which you can, you can create, uh, you know, your own, track your own steps in each type of matter. Um, so again, you can see we're using relationships and roll-up fields to really track information for each client and pull it all into one. Okay, so you might be thinking, wait, does this mean I have to input my information and client information in two places and or more, right? Maybe you have your accounting software, maybe you have, uh, you know, your time tracker software, you have your uh, document software, you have all these different places where this client information might need to be. So I completely understand. You don't wanna have to be inputting information in all these different places and ClickUp as well. So. But most of those other platforms and ClickUp as well has export feature and import. So you can usually say you're using Clio as your billing software and your client uh, management software currently, you can export a list of clients and you can select which data, what data you wanna export. Maybe you don't care about to have the phone numbers and emails and addresses in ClickUp. Maybe that's just something you don't want. Then you just want a simple list of clients and a simple list of matters. So you could easily just export that information. Um, and then when you have a new client or a new matter open, you probably, then maybe you have to manually um, add it to ClickUp, but it hopefully it wouldn't be a big deal if it's not that much at one time. So hopefully you can see that using relationships and roll-up fields in ClickUp can be a really powerful way to help you manage and visualize where your client matters are at a single glance. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips on how ClickUp can help you support you in your legal practice, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm adding videos on a regular basis and I'm sure there'll be more soon. You can also head on over to theresourcewoman.com to learn more about how I can help you put systems and strategies in place so that your matters run smoothly, efficiently, and more profitably. Thanks for watching.